what will make a gesture different from a simple strike or ictus and why do we need to do that? why there is a call for change in conductor's gesture? Uh, why we cannot keep doing in the same manner and it used to be 100, 150 years ago or even 50, 30 years ago um, we can easily provide um, a pace or pulse during conducting and maybe we will be okay but the thing is that gesture conductor's gesture is not only providing pace or pulse it also providing many other things and conductor gestures which is accumulated or um, designed to provide an upbeat for the orchestra uh, should be as complex as possible um, <clears throat> as soon as we speak about uh, motion uh, gesture upbeats I would like to suggest another term uh, which uh, might describe the motion, conductor's motion and, can, and the upbeat uh, in more complexity and this is motion impulse uh, or upbeat motion impulse and um, why do we need to change the term uh, because life um, calls for a uh, different type of conducting in our days as I mentioned at the beginning that um, social, cultural, economic situation changed and there is no time for a uh, long number of rehearsals uh, many times conductor does not have an opportunity to have four, five, six, seven rehearsals as it used to be before or in the 19th century there um, were evidences where a conductor could have up to 100 rehearsals for a difficult pieces like Beethoven 9's uh, we didn't have that leisure in our day so uh, many times we only have one, two rehearsals sometimes we have no rehearsals if we audition auditioning for a position uh, or during a conducting competition where you have to conduct orchestra right away without any preparation uh, without uh, possibility to try out a little bit yourself in front of the orchestra and orchestra try uh, you out um, <clears throat> you have to find the way for instant communication uh, with the orchestra because all of this uh, we have to clearly understand what it is an upbeat and what is the role of the upbeat and what is the role of this motion impulse what we're providing uh, for the orchestra and we can find that the role the content of the upbeat is very very complex uh, let me read the definition of the upbeat uh, made by my uh, my teacher Ilya Musin in his book uh, The Technique of Conducting <clears throat> in his book Technique of Conducting Ilya Musin provides an extensive description of the anticipator anticipatory multifunctional and interactive nature of the upbeat number one definition of the initial moment of the performance preparation for the mutual activity, breathing, and the beginning of every beat within the measure. Second, definition of the tempo. Third, definition of the beat, beat's rhythm, metrical value, as dotted 
or triplet. And here I should say that many times um, many conductors do not make that, that definition between uh, duple and triple meter. Um, and we can talk about that a little bit later. Um, fourth, definition of dynamic. Fifth, definition of the character of the attack of the sound, the degree of the acuteness and length. And sixth, definition of the imaginary content, content of the music. So all of those six components should be manifested all together within the object. See how complex the simple motion, the simple strike, which used to be as a part of the tool of conductor and years ago, is changes transferred. And <clears throat> um, speaking about an upbeat design, we have to admit that it is the most complex and difficult thing within the modern conducting. Besides uh, the things of how we should do that and uh, what will make the simple motion downward upward a conceptual motion, motion impulse or uh, an upbeat an upbeat motion impulse we have to see this phenomena within a complex and the complex is that all upbeat, all motion impulse sh should be designed specifically it should be designed in a way of the intercommunication with the orchestra that um, orchestra musician will clearly understand all of those six components within a single motion. 